What's up, my beautiful people? It's your host, Positive Gaming, and welcome to the Positive Gaming Show, where positivity and gaming come together as one. This is episode 32 of the Positive Gaming Show. Let's get to it. Um, Today's episode, we're going to be talking about you. We're going to be talking about your your so your social circle. We're gonna be talking about the friends you have in your life, the people you had in your life, the people you have in your life. We're gonna be just talking about the 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 choices you make in your life. Now, I feel like if you if you're that type of person that don't have much people in your life, I feel like you shouldn't be sad about that. I feel like you shouldn't really be mad about it, sad about it, cry about it, even hope you have. You should not really feel bad about it because at the end of the day, I see it. I see it, me as my, in my opinion, in my eyes, I see it like this: If you had people in your life, right, and they're not in your life now, where are they? They they was never your friends. Think about that. Because if you if they were your friends, they would still be in your life. If they if you had people in your life and now you don't, what happened? Where are they? You know, and I think about that every day. I, I tell myself, I lost, I lost a lot of friends. I lost a lot of people, and I miss them. There's been times in my life when I miss them, but at the same time, where are they now? You know, because as people, we make, we try to do our best to keep the people in our lives, but we can only do what's, we can only do so much to the point where there's been times where there's been times where I think I think about it like this, okay. I will cry for this person. I will hope hope and pray this person came back. I will do this and that, blah, blah, blah. But where are they? They out there living their best life, and I'm too busy over here crying and sad because they left. Move on. Let it go. And it's going to be hard at first, yes. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, do not let that do not let that stop you from living your life. Because I used to let that stop me from living minds. I, I never used to move on. I used to just be depressed about it. I used to be like, damn, I lost that person. And then I used to oh, I used to think about it over and over again. I used to think, well, the reason why this person is not in my life because this happened and where are they now? If they was really if they was if they really cared about you like they told you they did when y'all was friends, they will stay. They will stick around. They will make things work. Now Friends come and go. When like it's it's really rare that you are friends with people that you used to go to school with or you used to work with. It's it's really rare because the people that I used to work with or went to school with, I'm not really close with them anymore. I'm only close with like one person that I went to high school with, and that's it. I have like friends here and there, but do I trust them? No. No. Because it, 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 they show that like throughout time, throughout like throughout the years and the months that I knew them, they showed me they showed me who they really were, and it, it's like okay, I see your true colors, and it, it's it's something that you, I don't I see myself not hanging out with you. I see myself not being around you all the time because if you're gonna act like that towards me, then that's something I don't need in my life. You know, and and to me, I feel like there's nothing wrong with cutting people out of your life because do when you, when you come to a new year, when you get to a new year, new decade, and stuff like that, there's gonna be times when you're gonna have to cut some people out, and there's nothing wrong with that. You're not a bad person for cutting people out your life because if you notice that that person is not the best person to hang around with, you notice that you have to be like, all right, bet. I'm going to have to cut some ties from you and just distance myself away from you and space, space. I need to like have some space away from you because there's been times and my, there's been times where I used to be friends with people and I used to just let, sometimes I used to let people just walk all over me and I used to be that type of person to be like, oh, I'll let them do it. I'll let them talk to me any type of way because I was afraid of being alone. But at the end of the day, you have to worry about yourself. You cannot let people talk to you the way they want to talk to you. You cannot let people treat you the way they want to treat you. It, 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 it's, it's right that everyone treats each other equal. Now, what I'm saying is, there's nothing wrong with cutting people out. That's what I did for this new year. I had to. Because in 2019, I met some cool people, 
But those cool people that I met were not lifetime friends. There was only seasonal friends. And I learned and and there was um a play that Tyler Perry did. It's called I think it's Tyler Perry. I mean Tyler Perry Medea Goes to Jail. It was the play version, not the movie though, on play. And then Medea, she was um explaining to a, a cop cuz um how the situation went down was in the play the cop's wife was cheating on him. And he was telling Medea how he was like sad about it, how he was upset that he doesn't have her in his life no more. And then Medea told him, it's okay, you can cry about it, you can be sad about it for a day, but move on. And if people want to walk out your life, let them go. And she was explaining to him that some people are lifetime and some people are seasonal. And she also she also did like a, a explanation. She also explained how some people are like a tree. So you're gonna also you're gonna always have like two or you're always gonna have one or two friends, good close friends that's always there for you. Those are the roots. That's the reason why the tree is up there. And you're gonna have friends that are branches and leaves. Now branches, as soon as you sit on them, they're gonna break. So you got to watch out for them. Leaves, on the other hand. They're, they're easy to blow off a tree because they're going to be over here, they're going to be over there, they're going to be all over the place. Because when you think about it, when you go outside, what do you see on the floor? Leaves all over the place, you know? And the thing about that is branches are, and branches and leaves are the only thing you have to worry about. The, the roots are one or two friends that you're going to always have in your life. Branches and leaves are going to be those type of people that's going to be... It's gonna be you like you have to you have to really sit back and just watch them. You can't really trust them as much. Now the roots, on the other hand, you can trust them because they're the reason why the tree is up there. But the branches and leaves, you have to watch out for them. And when she explained that, I was like, "Oh, that makes sense. I know where she's coming from. I know what she's talking about." And that really made sense when she talked about it because. You really have to watch out. You really have to be careful on who you call your friend. Because you can call anyone your friend. But at the same time, what are they calling you behind your back? Are they defending you? Are they sticking up for you? Are they are they there for you when things get rough? Because let me, let me let you know something right now. When you're going through the toughest shit in your life. When you're going through the toughest stuff in your life. You're going to see who your friends are. You're really going to see. Because when you when when people know that you're going through stuff or you don't or anything, it doesn't matter. When you're going through the toughest stuff in your life, you're gonna see who's really there for you. No joke. You're really gonna see who's there for you, who's not for the, who's not there for you. Always remember that. So when you're going through something tough, when you're going through something horrible, when you just when you're just going through something that you feel like you can't go through alone. You're going to see who's really there for you. You're going to see who's checking up on you from time to time. You're going to see who's making sure that you're good. You're going to be making sh- you're going to see who's really your friend. And when you see those those real friends that are doing that stuff for you, you keep them in your life. That's all I have to say. This is Positive Gaming. Love y'all and peace.